Hi Virgo, this is a message for all twin flames who have Virgo in their sun or moon or rising, either you or your twin flame. So that encompasses a lot of people. And if you don't have Virgo anywhere in your chart, you're more than welcome to stay. Everyone's welcome here. I'm Lisi. I'm a master certified ascension coach with Twin Flames Universe. You can find me at twinflamesheartsdesire.com. I'm having a sale until June 21st. So if you're watching this video before June 21st, 2023, you can get 20% off of all my readings with the code TWINS at checkout on my website, twinflamesheartsdesire.com. Okay, let's move on into the reading. I've got this beautiful sacred geometry of relationships oracle that is new to me, but not new to existence. Um, I also found that my camera is having a fun time focusing, so I'll do my best to keep the cards in focus. I am aware that the camera is a little happy. Okay, Virgo, here, oh, you've got two cards. Ooh, wee, they're both similar. You've got Divine Feminine and Joy. Wow, Virgo. So Virgo is like, it's the only sign of the Zodiac that's like undeniably feminine. In um, the Greek and Roman gods and goddesses that, that were worshipped, Virgo um, was the god of the hearth, the, the goddess of the hearth, right? The goddess of the harvest also um, is something that Virgo comes out as. And whether you're a divine masculine or a divine feminine Virgo, feminine nature is really important to you. What does it mean to be a divine feminine or to be the masculine partnering with your divine feminine, right? It means that you're going to really express joy. A divine feminine expresses herself by being. Um, this is something that Shalia, who's my spiritual teacher, uh, posted on a Facebook post about the divine feminine primarily being a something that is just an, an essence that just is, right? If you're in your divine feminine, you're, you're just radiating and overflowing your joy, your love into the world. You, you don't have to do anything, right? A lot of uh, where Virgos, where you're getting kind of stuck is you feel like you have to do something. Let your divine masculine do that. And if you're a Virgo who is a divine masculine, maybe your divine feminine is not feeling joyful. Maybe they're feeling stuck like they can't receive your love and then radiate that love. That's how a divine feminine energy works. It's very similar to a flower, how you've got a flower that receives the sun and the soil and the nutrients in the soil and the water and then blossoms and blooms and just becomes this fragrance that just permeates everyone's nostrils and beautifies everyone's view and that is how divine feminine energy works you don't you're not doing so much it doesn't mean you sit around like a couch potato just it just means that wherever you go your energy is radiating and when i learned that as because i'm a divine feminine I relaxed a lot and I got to experience a whole lot more joy. I'm going to read the bottom of the cards to you. The frequency of the divine feminine supports our soft, receptive, and nurturing side, facilitating our intuition and intrinsic understanding of our connection to the cosmos. Joy, the energy of joy, activates our feelings of happiness and well being and supports high vibrational frequency in our being. So it's important, joy Joy will give you wings. It's important to have some fun on your twin flame journey. If you're not in contact with your twin flame, you can still experience joy. You don't have to be sad. In fact, um, some one of my clients, one of my twin flame coaching clients was telling me that she felt sad because she wasn't with her twin flame. And I said, but that's not true. You are with your twin flame. The reason you're feeling sad is because of an illusion of separation. And I'm not trying to bait and switch anybody or talk in metaphors and allegories or abstractions. The truth is you are you're one with your twin and as you continue to do the inner work of the teachings of union, you're going to be seeing this and witnessing this firsthand. You're one at the core. You're one um, as like a super being. So when you choose, your twin flame chooses as one with you. 
if you have all these fears and you're not choosing joy, if your twin flame comes around, you're not going to feel this joy when they're, when they're around you either. It's, you're going to be the same. Wherever you go, there you are, right? Some people think, oh, if my twin flame was here, I'd feel this. I promise you, I have, I have felt sadness, anger, fear when Josh was like literally right next to me. It was the same, same stuff. You can't hide from yourself. And your twin flame being there, you think it would make you feel better. You'll just feel exactly the same. If not, worse, because your twin flame is your divine mirror. And they're going to amplify what you're experiencing. Okay, Virgo, here's another one for you. We got friendship. So this is interesting. So this card comes up because perhaps you are exploring friendships, like divine friendships. There we go, 22 partnerships coming up. Turn it so you can, so it focuses. There we are. So friendship is, let's talk about it in terms of twin flames first. And I'll read the bottom. The energy of friendship supports our intrinsic desire for connection with others based on mutual affection and appreciation. So your twin flame is designed to be your ultimate lover, but first, before that even, they are your teacher and then your best friend and your partner. And so it's important for you to feel good about your friendship with your twin flame. If you don't have your twin flame in your life physically, start being friends with yourself. Start to consider yourself as your own best friend. That's going to be mirrored back to you by your twin flame, but it's something to cultivate. It's not something that you snap your fingers and then voila. You, you must cultivate it as you would cultivate a young seed, a seedling to a plant, and then a plant that bears fruit. So with regard to your friendship in uh, the outer world, some of you Virgos are, are feeling like a lot of you are hermits, but some of you aren't. And either way, you're kind of desiring friendship, but not knowing how to go about it. Some of you have been hurt in the realm of friendship, like you don't know how to have healthy boundaries. And so you've been, you're a very giving person. You like to nurture and give and provide. Um, and so you've been taken advantage in, of in the past and this has hurt you. And so you're kind of afraid to give now, but don't be afraid the love that you give others doesn't come from you. It comes from source or AKA God. So you don't have to worry about running out of energy or, or um, not having enough. Like you'll know when it's time to rest because your body will feel tired, right? Um, but you also don't want to cast pearls before swine. So if you're giving in a place where the person isn't receiving at all, even if it's your twin flame, redirect yourself there have some have different boundaries you don't have to cut someone off you can have boundaries as much as you can if if those boundaries don't work and you've done everything you could well then you consider the alternative but do try uh, boundaries first if you want some help with that let me know and, and try an introductory session with me okay so here's your last card for a go you're doing this is a great one. Oh, we've got more pink Lots of pink for you. Sensuality. My goodness. What a really like, um, it's a very divine feminine. Look at all this pink you got. Really cool. Um, sensuality. So for this coming time period, you're really looking at giving to yourself and then letting yourself just surrender into your feminine. If you're feminine masculines who are watching this, um, it's really about you honoring your feminine, honoring your feminine counterpart is what that means. Like really support your, your woman, whether you're in touch with her or not, like choose to honor where she's at and to support her and provide like uh, reassurance that you're not going anywhere so that she can feel safe to like open up and be vulnerable because vulnerability is the key to sensuality. The frequency of sensuality reminds us that as spirits, we are sensual beings experiencing joy and pleasure from the physical world through our senses. So it might be a good idea for um, for all the Virgos to, to think of nature walks 
and especially walks in gardens where you can smell roses, but also go to a street market if you have an open air market near you and smell the smells. Smell the smell of fresh cut grass. Go cut your own grass if you have a lawn. Um, Bake some bread, bake some cookies, bake something that's gonna create an aroma light a candle that smells good, get some bath products that smell good. All of these things kind of invoke your senses. Senses are the, sense is the root word of sensuality. And that's going to really help you to be more present. Sensuality and presence go hand in hand. And sensuality is fun. It's people think of this word and they associate it with sexuality, but it's not necessarily just that. So this is something you're, you're having a you're going to have a fun time. I really feel that. I know um, in the Northern Hemisphere, it's peak, uh, it's right at the end of strawberry season. So I just got this big image of strawberries, like some kind of strawberry shortcake with whipped cream or like something for you. So just indulge yourself. And, and also, I have to say this because it's exciting for me and because I, I don't want you to guys, I don't want you to have to pay full price later on. I want you to enjoy the deal. Don't forget, you can get 20% off of all of my readings and my coaching packages. But if you want a reading, go to my website, TwinFlamesHeartsDesire.com. I have biggest block tier Twin Flame Union, Divine Oracle readings, Twin Flame Romance readings, Love Letter from Your Twin Flame, Dream Interpretation, just to name a few. So check those out because I want you to pamper yourself and get what you desire. So thank you so much, Virgo. You're most welcome here. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye-bye.